So every once in a while I get into a musical rut where I'm uninspired. I don't want to play any songs that I know. I don't feel like learning any new songs and I really don't feel like picking up the accordion or anything. I'll kind of noodle around on the piano, but that's just because the kids want to listen to some music. I'm uninspired. What do I do? So obviously I watch YouTube videos and I get inspired by other people, but the other thing that I do is I pick up some new instruments and I try and incorporate what I know into those new instruments. And I think that that's one way of getting out of a musical rut. Obviously there are other ways. There are, you can get a teacher, you could try learning a new style of music or a new song. For sure that's doable, but kind of my low hanging fruit that, big, that brings the most amount of satisfaction and kind of branches out into a mu new musical direction is picking up a new instrument. And so I wanted to share with you over the last three weeks, I've picked up three new things under $50 that have sparked joy in me. Uh, let me show them to you. So the first thing that I bought was this little uh, glockenspiel uh, from a yard sale. This was $2 uh, and it works re really well. It used to belong to a girl named Sarah. <laughs> this glockenspiel is made by Kinder Music and it sounds great. If you know how to play the piano or the piano accordion, you know how to play this. Do, right? C, D, F, G, A, B, C. You have a bit more than an octave. How I play this is I have my accordion. So obviously the instrument by itself, fine. You could play by yourself. You could play with others. The real magic, at least in my opinion, comes when you incorporate one or more instruments. So I have my Glock here and I have my accordion. I'll do my usual D minor. Let's do the Amelie theme song, right? with this. So I usually try lots of songs that I know and that I don't know. Um, so for the kids, I'll play, sorry, I'm trying to, to find a place where the sound will be nice, right? left hand and then our right hand's free to do whatever we want right if you happen to have a piano anyways glockenspiel really handily available from kids schools from kids that don't want it anymore garage sales eBay Amazon great buy the other thing I picked up was oh, one of my favorite things this is a little tambourine that fits over your foot um, I won't, yeah, maybe I will. I'll put it on my foot. It just sits on your foot like this. You have two ways of hitting it. You can hit the back of your foot. Let me put it on my hand so you don't have to look at my foot. It sits like that over your shoe or your foot. You can hit your foot with a heel or your toe. And what it sounds like, again, it opens up a whole world of music. So we can go. That's just my heel, my toe. So you can combine three instruments now. You have your accordion, your glock, and your little foot pedal, your foot tambourine. Um, oh, 
now it's a matter of coordination. Let's just do something simple. So, anyways, super, super awesome. I feel inspired. These things aren't necessarily for a performance. Um, it's more for myself to get re-inspired. Now, the last thing I got, the greatest thing that I got, is this melodica. Uh, a few months ago, we went on a road trip and we stopped by a shop that had these toy melodicas, not this one, um, for $25 and I sort of fell in love with it. I played with it and I let the kids play with it and it was so good. Um, a melodica is a keyboard with a mouthpiece attached to it. This is just something that you blow into. So it's similar to an accordion. It's a reed instrument. Um, nothing happens if you don't blow. But then as soon as you deep press the key, good. So this is my new favorite instrument because what it does is it's, so again, if you know the piano, if you know the piano accordion, you know how to play the melodica. I love it because it gives me another voice for the melody. How I usually play it, sure you can play it's just the melodica itself, right? How I prefer to play it is once again, left hand of the accordion does the melody, the rhythm, and this does the melody. Uh, let's on the forest flowers. Anyways, what I find is putting a new sound to the melody re-inspires me to play my songs all over again. I was playing Philip Glass's uh, opening again, right? So many songs. Again, I just want to revisit those songs, right? Um, and again, when I get a little bit tired of that, I put on my little foot bell, and now I have, um, you know. Just a huge, huge variety of songs and sounds that I already know 
but I was a little bit tired of. So this is like finding a spice drawer with lots of spices you've never used. So you could cook the exact same thing you were doing. You could do your scrambled eggs, but now you're adding sriracha and ketchup and mayo and all that other stuff. You found a drawer full of different kinds of pickles. Um, yeah, again, my analogies aren't great, but three instruments that really inspire. And I think one of the biggest things is don't be afraid to mix and match instruments. The accordion is fantastic for that. You can have one hand that does rhythm. And then your other hand is free to do whatever you'd like. Right? Whatever level you're at, if you're just a beginner, play simple melodies. If you're a bit more advanced, try your triads. Or I think there's so much beauty that can be had by yeah, by combining instruments. It doesn't have to be expensive. I'll put a link for the melodica in the description. No affiliation. I don't get any money from Amazon. I'm not sponsored in any way. Um, and probably to the biscuit for the other instruments too, for the glockenspiel and the foot tambourine. Let me know how you get inspired. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.